So I just had my first meeting for the new six week rapid recovery group that started today. We have people from all over the world in the group who are trying to reverse lupus, lupus nephritis, Sjogren's, uh, optic nerve and other eye inflammation. Some people who have autoimmune markers and autoimmune symptoms, but haven't been stamped with that diagnosis yet. People who are tired and in pain and who are ready to heal. So I'm really excited for them and excited to help them learn how to change their life. Listen, this group is not just about the nutrition plan that you learned in Goodbye Lupus or my free classes. This place is where you learn how to live a recovery healing lifestyle. I'm gonna be looking at their moods, their stress, their sleep, their nutrition, everything. I'm gonna hold their hand for six weeks to make sure that they get their health back. So I'm very excited for them. They're excited, they're nervous, um, but they're ready to go. So we just had the first live meeting and I was answering all the different questions they were asking me and I wanted to share some of those questions and answers so maybe it could help you with your healing journey. I hope you learn a lot and I hope that you're excited to start your healing journey as well. make you as happy as pizza in terms of the high in terms of the high like when you eat pizza the the cheese and everything sets off a cascade of of hormones and neurotransmitters that gives you a physical high like you just had some cocaine kale does not do that however once you're over the addiction kale absolutely makes you happy i mean i'm happy and i'm healthy and i love kale but it doesn't give me that high, right? So if you're crying because you miss pizza, then you have a problem and the problem is not kale. The problem is you're looking for food for happiness and that's not gonna work here because you're not gonna get high off these foods. You'll get high after a few weeks when you're feeling good and you're like, I love this, I feel so healthy. Then you'll be high, then you'll love it. But in the beginning, especially the first two weeks when there's detox and cravings, You've got to be really committed to self-care to get yourself through that so you don't fall backwards. How can one stop the brain from working? Thinking, singing while asleep, is that real? <laughs> so there's, a, okay, technically your brain is always running, right? But there's a difference between thinking and being in the moment. So what, what self-care is truly is being in the moment. It's letting go of thinking, analyzing, worrying, and just being present. And one of the best ways to be present in the moment is to do an activity that requires your attention, right? So if I'm painting, then I'm looking at the paints and the texture of the brush and how the light's hitting it. I'm, I'm in the moment, right? I'm not thinking about what went wrong that day or what I need to do tomorrow. I'm in the moment. Um, if you are listening to beautiful music and you're following the sounds of the music, you're in the moment. If you're in the bath, just inhaling the essential oils and breathing in and relaxing, you're in the moment, right? So self-care is about stopping the thinking and being present. And that's how you release stress. And a lot of folks don't do that. And so they, they constantly accumulate stress on a day-to-day -day basis and stress is inflammatory. That's why self-care is a part of this, is that what I've seen, I mean, I've been running people through healing programs now for a decade. And what I found is the people who are otherwise happy and they're really good at self-care, we just add the nutrition, boom, finish line. Like they are just amazing. And then there's the people who have tons of stress and worry and anxiety, and they never take the time for self-care and they don't let go of that. They struggle because it's like, oh, I'm feeling a little better, but then I'm having a hard day and then I'm worried and then, and it's like up and down, up and down. And so it takes a lot, it's a lot harder for them. So that's why I incorporate that in this program because six weeks, I have six weeks. Let's get you into the calmest, most beautiful, peaceful place possible so that you can allow the nutrition to do its job. An easy way to measure stuff. This is the best thing in the world. Tom taught me this and he blew my mind. If you take a measuring cup, like a liquid measuring cup, uh, hopefully one that has like space for like two cups in it, fill one cup with water, right? One cup of water in there. Then take your fist and put it in the water. So the water covers it. And then look at how much water got displaced and you'll know how big your fist is. So my fist is exactly one cup. Tom's is like a cup and a half, right? So then you know how to measure your food. So let's say you have a salad and you don't have measuring cups around. Let's say you go to a salad bar, you use your fist and then you estimate and go, oh, that's three cups or that's four cups. Super cool, right? I hope you enjoyed that and you learned some useful information. If you like learning free information from me about how to heal from disease and live your healthiest, best life, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram at Goodbye Lupus and on Facebook as well at Goodbye Lupus. So I hope I see you in all those places. Make sure you subscribe and you comment.